Good day, my brothers and sisters in music. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you how biggest brands in the world get their music. All right, and I should know something about this because this has been my life's work for the past 15 years. So let's jump right into my board of timeless wisdom and let me break this down for you guys. By the way, the first thing we should establish is who am I to talk about this? Why should you listen to me? The fact is I have produced close to a thousand campaigns for the biggest brands in the world. We're talking about sound and music for brands like Nike, Google, Honda, Heineken, Sony, Toyota, BMW, way too many others to mention. So I'm not one of these internet dudes who is teaching you things that they haven't done themselves. The second thing you should ask yourself is why is this important? Well, this is important because people aren't buying music anymore and I see a lot of musicians still trying to sell their singles to people who are streaming their music for free. That's a traditional way that's no longer working. So what I always say to musicians is instead of trying to sell your singles instead of trying to uh, treat your singles as a as a product start selling your musical skills as a service not to people but to places to places that need original music and that are willing and able to pay for it what are those places these places are brands folks brands are spending millions of dollars on original music they don't just license big name artists, okay? They couldn't afford to license big name artists for every piece of content that they do and brands produce a crap load of content, okay? So a lot of this music, I would say like 90%, maybe even 95% of the music is original music, okay? That is produced by freelance musicians just like you who are sitting in their home studios. But it's not that simple, okay? Let's go through some misconceptions, first of all and some mistakes, mistaken ideas that are in musicians' mind. So the first misconception is that brands get their music from music libraries. Let me tell you from experience that big brands who are working on big campaigns, commercials, and content, they do not get their music from music libraries. There is an established process, an established workflow, like an established set of people that are going to work step by step on all these campaigns, including music. And I'm going to take you through that workflow in a second. The second misconception is that you could get in touch with a brand to, to create music for them. You cannot do this, okay? You cannot go directly to a brand. The brands are unreachable basically by individual creators, okay? Um, you need to get in touch with a different set of people. And I'm gonna explain to you who those people are in just a second. So you do not get in touch directly with the brand if you are a musician who wants to create music for brands. So let me paint you a picture of what it actually looks like and how brands procure their music. So I don't know if you guys know this, but the world is a pyramid. On top of this pyramid are brands. This is going to be an inverted pyramid, by the way, upside down. OK, underneath the brands are going to be agencies. And I will explain to you in just a sec how this pyramid works. Underneath the agencies are production companies. And then right underneath that is a mass of people like you and me who are at the bottom. And let me explain to you how the work trickles down to us. At the top, we have the brands. The job of the brand is not to create an energy drink. It's not to create a car. It's not to create a shoe. The job of the brand is to move humans. It's to create a story. Move humans with stories. Anybody can create an energy drink, but what makes the energy drink special? It's the story. It's the fact that within your mind, there are certain emotions and associations that are triggered when you pick up Red Bull versus a no-name energy drink, when you pick up an Adidas shoe versus a Reebok shoe, when you get into a Volvo versus a BMW. Brands are in the business of building mythologies, of creating stories, okay? So that's their only purpose, is to differentiate themselves not just in the marketplace, but most importantly, in the mind of the consumer. I bet you a lot of you know this, but this is why brands create content. The content, these films they're shooting, these campaigns 
are there to create emotions. They're there to create real estate inside of your mind, body, and soul. It's all to do with creating these stories. So brands don't actually create this content, these commercials and these stories. They don't even think of the ideas for them. Imagine that. What they will do is they will hire a fancy ad agency. And these agencies will have really cool folks with long beards and cool glasses. And they're all going to be really hip and really smart and really clever. And they're gonna help the brand to think of an angle for the campaign. How are we going to tell our story? How will we create some noise in the marketplace, okay? So the agencies are kind of first in line after the brands, they think up the campaign ideas for the brands. But the agency doesn't actually create the campaign. They don't actually shoot it. They don't actually edit it. They don't actually make these ideas come to life. They just come up with ideas, okay? Next, the agency will reach out to all sorts of production companies. And these will include film production companies. These will include editing houses. These will include, pay attention now, folks, music production companies, okay? Music production companies that specialize in making music for commercials, for campaigns, for brand content. Some of you musicians might be surprised that such music companies exist. Once upon a time, I was one of you. 15 years ago, when I learned about this business, it was a complete shock to me, a complete surprise that there is this hidden world that exists of all these music studios and music production companies that are hidden from plain sight for most musicians that only exist to create original song scores and sounds for big brand campaigns. Okay, I remember my first time going into a music production company and seeing the wooden floors, the high ceilings, the beautiful furniture, the fancy lunches being catered, all these fancy people from brands and from ad agencies walking around. They were working on the music for the latest campaign and it was just a huge surprise to me. And I was like, I gotta get into this world. This is unbelievable. I had no idea it existed. So production companies that specialize, music production companies that specialize in making music for brands, they don't actually, in 95% of the cases, have in-house full-time composers who will be able to compose music for various genres, various styles that appear in brand content. So what these music production companies will do is they will reach out to a roster of freelance musicians, just like you, who are able to create magic right out of their home studio, okay? And we've been doing this for years, for years. In the past two decades that I've been a part of the business, the music is done remotely by freelance musicians who have proven themselves to be able to come up with incredible music quickly and consistently. And so your job, if you're interested at all in being commissioned to create original songs or scores or sounds, for a brand campaign is to get a relationship going with a music production company. More specifically, what you wanna do is find within these music companies that we call music houses, actually. That's kind of the term that everybody uses in our business. What you wanna find within these music houses is someone called music producer. Music producer is your contact. This is the person that will be getting the job from the agency. So someone at the agency, maybe a broadcast producer at the agency, a broadcast producer, by the way, is somebody who is responsible for making sure that the campaign, the commercial, the content gets recorded on time and on budget. Maybe it will be the broadcast producer. Maybe it will be the creative director at the agency that says, who should we work with on this particular campaign when it comes to music? Hey, let's work with Tommy. Let's work with Tommy Z. Okay, I can't even write my own name, which is awesome. Why? Because Tommy Z is a music producer and the music producer is responsible for not only getting the campaign from the agency and being responsible for the overall result of the sound and music, but the music producer will also handpick a bunch of freelance musicians to create the music for the campaign. And why a bunch of musicians? Because a music producer has to present to the creative director, to the creative team at the agency, a number of different musical options. So normally I can't just work with one composer because I want to interpret the brief with different ideas, with different ways, with different shades, with different colors, with different tastes. And so I will normally reach out to three to four to five different freelance musicians 
and this is how music houses do it also it's not just me this is pretty much the accepted workflow the standard in how music is made in our industry we will source demos from three four five six different freelance composers we will present them to the agency the agency will make their selection they will present it to the client the client will hopefully pick one demo out of out of the bunch of demos that are presented to them and then we know that composer one is the winning demo and then they go on to revise the demo to finalize it until the brand the agency and everybody is happy with this all right folks so this is how big brands come up with music okay and folks actually in our academy where we teach students how to do this we have a running directory that we keep updated of music production companies and as a as of last count, there's over 400 music production companies around the world that specialize in making music for brands. And this is why I'm saying a lot of you might be amazed thinking, oh, this is niche. You know, there's only a few people doing this or I'm not even sure how big brands get their music. Folks, it's a real business. It's a real industry. And these, these should be your destination if you're at all interested in how to do this. And more specifically, you got to develop a relationship with a music producer within these music houses. Now, how do you approach them? How do you actually connect? What do you show them um, as far as your music and your ability? We're going to talk about that in the next video. And also, if you want to dig deeper into this, if you think, hey, this is very interesting and you want a proper comprehensive introduction to the industry of music and brands there's a, in the description a link to our free one hour training which will give you a really really proper introduction to our business and just by watching that you'll be far ahead of the average musician but as far as general overview of how big brands get their music there it is i hope that you enjoyed my uh timeless board of wisdom my chicken scratch i invite you to subscribe I invite you to send this video to musicians that may be struggling to find a way to make a living with music. And if you have any questions, I invite you to put them down in the comments. My name is Tommy Z, and I'll see you in the next video.